Hello and welcome to our last lesson on HTML basics. This is lesson number four, all about telling the time. So here you can see we've just got a little whiteboard activity for you and you can either use the pen tool, the draw to tool to write down the time or you can use the text tool. So I think the text tool is a little bit neater. I'm going to go and choose my color and then I'm going to put it in and write down the different times. Uh, remember, you can always stop this video and go ahead and do it yourself and then watch the rest and I can take you through the rest. Or you can watch the full thing and then go ahead and do your lesson. Cool. All right, moving on to drawing hands. Now, drawing hands is also really cool. You can use, um, definitely use the draw tool here, or you can use the line. We don't have an arrow, but go ahead and draw it how you will. And you can draw the different times in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Cool, let's move on to some coding. All right, so here we want to know what is the time. We've got our header saying what is the time, and we want to change the background color of the main section, that's my main section, to light yellow. I'm gonna write light yellow there. It's all gotta be one word. And now you can fill in what time, the times of your day. What time do you wake up, what time do you go to sleep, and what time do you eat, eat lunch? Remember, you can pause it here, go and fill in, and then uh, come back and have a look at the rest. Cool, and that's it. Now we're gonna head across to tab number two. This is our first time we have been introduced to images. So we are actually gonna put these images in ourselves. Now, you can see here, you've got the image source, that IMG and SRC stands for image source. And the task wants us to replace the question mark with the word wake up. So we go all the way along this image link, and we go to where the question mark is, and we're gonna write wake up. And there you can see the image of the girl waking up comes in. Same thing for school lunch. We're going to add the word lunch. And there my school lunch appears. And now we know we need to brush our teeth twice a day. So I'm going to put in here brush teeth. Really nice. And that comes up there. Tab number three. So here I've got my, my wake up, my go to sleep. I'm eating lunch. I've got all my images there. And now I'm on task number one, and we want to replace the question mark with the word bus. And there I can see bus has come up. Now I'm working on a bus timetable in this next task, and I need to fill in the correct answers. So sometimes on a bus timetable, you've got both, it's telling us morning, and then it's also giving us the 24 hour clock. So we need to put in here, what would the time be? And so that is going to be 6.30 p.m. I'm gonna go fill in the rest there. So we're just writing that in AMs and PMs. It's the same time, the one is the 24 hour clock and the other one is the morning or afternoon. Right, tab number four, we've got more things to fill in. We've got 23.05, we've got 15.30, we've then got 12.05 and we've got 13.10. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in now. Brilliant, and that is tab number four done. The last thing we need to do is go on to our challenge. Now the challenge is what it is. It's a challenge. So you've got to scroll down on the right hand side and you've got to scroll down a little bit on the left hand side too. And here we have a challenge tab. Let's get going on the challenge. Um, the first thing it says is that we need to complete the bus timetable from A to M, hence follow in the order of the alphabet. So even though it starts with C over here, I've been told to follow in the order of the alphabet. And we've got a couple of bits of information which are quite important. It takes 10 minutes 
to get from orange stop to yellow stop. And then red stop is only five minutes before the pink station. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to do the C that comes up first, but I'm going to listen to the instructions and start with A. 10 for A because orange stop is only 10 minutes from yellow stop. I'm going to go finish B all the way up to M. Remember, you can pause here and then go ahead and finish it off. Yay, and I've completed the challenge. It took a little while, um, and I hope you can do it too on your own. And I really encourage you to not give up and to try really hard to finish it. You can also share your website by clicking on that button there at the bottom, open and share my website, and you can see the entire website. Uh, below, you can also send it to your friends, your teachers, your parents, um, whoever you want to share your website with. We hope you really enjoy Lesson 4, and you've had a great time doing HTML basics. All the best.